If you remember, the other day we did a video and it was we were cutting some really tall grass in my backyard. It was tall, it was thick, it was wet, and we did it in steps. Remember? All the way up and then notches and we used a bag. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'll link to it right here. All right, Check that video out. That's like part one of this how-to series on tackling some nasty grass. This is nasty county grass. This is that county crap. This is the stuff that the county will come and bush hog once every like three or four months. In the meantime, it's snake heaven. So if you have dogs, you really don't want this crap, especially when you got a creek right here that's tidal and that goes in and out all the way to the ocean because then you got all types of crazy critters that are uh, chasing all the animals in the creek. So play it safe we're gonna mow this down now alternative to the steps method we're gonna do it a way that I never see anybody doing but the cool thing is somebody commented that they do it that way as well this way that I'm about to show you so what we're gonna do and I cut this with the mower first just to show you guys the height I'm looking for which is down low we're gonna over exaggerate how low we go and we're just going to go ahead and cut this down. This is my neighbor's backyard behind the fence, and this is my backyard behind the fence. So when you've got this situation, maybe all you have is like a cheap MTD mower from, from Walmart, one of those real small ones with the little engines and the little green deck with the little teeny wheels, and it's got no power, and you'll never get through this stuff. Maybe you got a really badass mower. Maybe your really badass mower broke. So an alternative method, weedy. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you guys how I weed eat stuff like this first. I'm going to show you some of the tips and tricks that I do, the way I do it, and makes it so you can then go back over it with your mower, fairly easy. So let me go get my weed eater, let's talk about something real quick, and then we're going to get on it. Alright guys, so right off the bat we're going to use a steel, uh, what is this, FS, FS100RX, 4 mix, pretty powerful weed eater. Uh, not everybody has a weed eater this powerful, so I want to make a little note to you guys about something. When, you, when you're weed eating, um, the width and uh, the type of, of uh, weed eater line that you use does make a difference. The smaller the line and the more round the line, then the more it's going to be like a razor blade cutting through the grass. However, it'll break off quicker, so you have to find that happy medium to where you have a a good line that's thick enough for the motor, or not too thick I should say, not too thick for the motor, um, but thick enough that it's not consistently breaking off. 60 thousandths or whatever, 65 thousandths or whatever it is, that's like really really awesome freaking line for stuff like this, but really only for stuff like this, because that stuff's like a razor blade, it goes right through this stuff, no issues, the engine never slows down and you just go zip right on through. But as soon as you take it to a chain link fence, a wood fence, along your house, along the sidewalk, the street, the mailbox, you're constantly, you're breaking that line so fast, it's irritating. Um, so you got to find that happy medium. Me, personally, I like 80 thousandths and I like round, regular round 80 thousandths. This is um, Oregon Gator Line. I'll put a link to it below this video, um, right in the description on where you can get this. This is 80 thousandths round gator line by Oregon. This is really awesome weeder line. Um, it helps me keep my RPMs up high and I can cut right through all this stuff even with my 100. There are people that have like 130s, 115s, 111s, whatever and they have like crazy thick 105 and 115 or 135 line or all that crap. Um, God bless you, good for you. I don't, I'm not taking down trees. I find it far more efficient to use 80 thousandths. The machine just goes right through it all and it's pretty awesome. Uh, and it doesn't really put any strain on anything because it's just going right through. Um, I'll relate it with cross blade mowing. People tell me that when I do cross blade videos they yell and scream at me in my videos because they say, no cross blading, if you don't know what cross blading is, I'll put a link to that right here. Um, they'll say, no cross blading is putting way too much stress and strain on your spindles and on your, your mower. Okay, really thick line is the same principle. You're putting more stress on your gears, on your motor, on your clutch, on your shaft, because that line is really thick and it's going through the grass and the grass is catching that line and slowing down everything and it's just putting more strain. It's more pressure. 
So when you have something super thin just slicing through like a razor blade, like 65 thousandths, way less stress on your machine. That's the best way I can say it. If you want to say that you could pee higher up a brick wall because you use freaking 150 line, God bless you. Pee higher up that brick wall. I, I'm, I, I feel for you. Uh, I could care less because remember, what goes up comes down. Make sure your shoes aren't too close. You'll look kind of silly. Um, so it's not about who could pee higher. It's about efficiency. And I find that 80 thousandths is really super freaking efficient. Cuts right through it as I'll demonstrate. Does a great job as I'll demonstrate and um, lasts long enough. Now I got it a little bit long here um, because I was doing my backyard, but it's all right, whatever. It needs to be, needs to be evened up. See how it's, it's not really too even? Eh, that's not bad. Um, so that's, that's what I use, okay? Now, the first thing that I do whenever I'm going to tackle a job like this, this nasty, thick, super tall stuff, is I do my border. So I'm gonna weed eat my border all the way around as if I'm just preparing for a mower. So let me go ahead and get that going. sets us up for the next part so we do more border first when I cut the yard last weekend or whatever um, I did a couple strips here with the mower so that's why it's not too bad up against the fence but I would always do my border first okay that's the very first thing I do now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to know what my distance is back and forth my sway right Here's my sway. From where I just weeded it, right here, to about like there. Perfect, where I have the mower. Like this. Okay, this is what I, I need to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a path. Going right down where I'm going to where my sway stops. into the thicker stuff to show you that I'm actually doing the job that I'm telling you. All right, so now I got my, my point. Now here's the important part. I see people going forward when they do this. I don't like to go forward, I like to go backwards, and here's why. The natural angle of the weed eater head with my arms, it's higher in the back and lower in the front. So as I'm approaching the tall grass, it's first cutting it in step, like step one of a lawnmower, like all the way up, and then as you back up the front of the head way up there is now a little bit lower and that's putting your final height on it so it kind of gives you a layer like this you're you're doing it in steps again it helps with like mulching up so you don't have such really tall stuff and um, it makes it so your weed eater head can just keep on rolling so let me demonstrate why I did the fence already because I don't have to go and hit the fence I already made a path right there I already trimmed that so all I have to do is get close and I'm already in where I already cut
80,000th line, went right through that. So now what you see is we got manageable grass. So now, fire up your mower and touch it up. Slight disclaimer, I noticed that my Honda's running a little bit weird. Have to keep the choke on, so that's telling me that there's a blockage in the carburetor. Um, the, the jet or something in the car probably has some dirt in it. So I have to choke it because it's not getting enough gas to run with normal air. So I have to choke some air so it runs. So if it's running a little weird, that's why I got to tear into it. really bad and that's what a terrible mower it's not really working too well so uh, let me go ahead and just set this up let you guys just watch man we put a little music to this that's it though weedy find your arc find, find the arc of what what you're gonna do go down and make a line there and now so from here basically to like right here I'm gonna make a line where are you at So from here to like here, so I'll cut a path with the weed eater, go on down, then that'll be my path, that'll be my swath. And then I'll just go backwards, mow this down, then we'll break out the mower, and we'll go ahead and top it off, and we're gonna have this yard done in no time. It's 2.11 right now, let's see what we got.
serious stuff. 215, four minutes. And we just did all that in four minutes. Let's go ahead and mow it up best we can with this hurting mower. Really need to fix this thing, but whatever. It took seven minutes to do that big old section there. I don't think that's too bad, guys. What do you think? We good? You got it now? I think we all got it. That, my friends, is how you can easily tackle some really tall, nasty crap. <laughs> without killing yourself or killing your machine. Too simple, huh? Let me go ahead and finish up. Enjoy the rest of the video. Guys, please check out www.dansvlog.com. That's V, vlog, vlog with a V, dansvlog.com, where you can donate to the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. So if you like what we're doing here, that's how you can show your thanks by donating to them. I don't see any of that money. It all goes to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. They control all of the donations. The only thing that we can see is how much we put in as a channel. So anything you guys can do, man, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of this video. I'm gonna, uh,